Imagine looking at your herd right now. Really look at them. Do you see potential or do you see ribs? Because every single visible rib represents money that is evaporating from your pocket. It is a harsh reality that keeps cattle ranchers awake at night. You have bought the feed, you have done the deworming, you have provided the minerals, and yet there is that one animal, or maybe five, or maybe half the herd, that just looks skinny. They look rough, their coat is dull, they are lagging behind. And the scary part is that most producers rush to fix this with the wrong solution. They pour in high starch grain, they push the corn, and suddenly they are dealing with bloat, acidosis, and a ruined digestive system. You try to solve one problem and you create three deadly ones. But what if I told you there is a byproduct, a simple ingredient often overlooked, that acts like a secret weapon? A tool that allows you to put massive weight on cattle in just 45 days without destroying their stomach. It sounds too good to be true, but the science behind beet pulp is undeniable. Today, we are going to reveal exactly how to use this super fiber to transform skinny cattle into heavy, profitable animals in record time. And the worst part is, almost nobody knows the specific ratio to use to avoid disaster. Stay with me, because we are about to change the way you feed forever. This is not just about throwing food in a trough. This is about biology. To understand why beet pulp works like magic, you first have to understand why your cow is skinny. A cow is a ruminant. Think of their stomach not as a bucket, but as a fermentation tank. It is an engine driven by billions of microbes. When an animal is skinny, usually that engine is running inefficiently. You cannot just dump high-octane fuel, like pure corn, into a rusty engine. It will explode. This is where beet pulp comes in. Beet pulp is what we call a superfiber. It is the fibrous material left over after sugar is extracted from sugar beets. Now, why do I call it a superfiber? Because it is unique. It has the safety of grass, but the energy levels closely approaching grain. When you feed hay, it is safe, but it takes a long time to digest and provides low energy. When you feed corn, it provides high energy, but digests rapidly and creates acid. Beet pulp sits perfectly in the middle. It is highly digestible, meaning the cow can break it down quickly to get nutrients, but it does not produce the lactic acid that causes acidosis. This is the game changer. It allows you to pump energy into the animal without making them sick. However, there is a massive misconception that leads many ranchers to fail. They think beet pulp is just a filler. They think it is just empty volume. That is a lie. Beet pulp is an energy concentrate. When you introduce this into the diet of a skinny animal, you are essentially expanding the capacity of their rumen. You are stretching the stomach lining gently, stimulating the appetite, and providing the calories needed for muscle and fat deposition. But here is the catch. If you feed it dry without understanding the consequences, you might be putting your animals at risk of choking or impaction. And I will explain exactly how to prepare it correctly in just a moment, because if you get this wrong, you could lose the animal you are trying to save. Before we dive into the specific 45-day protocol, I need you to understand the bloom effect. Have you ever seen show cattle? You know, those animals that look round, deep, and have a shiny coat that looks like it was polished? That is the bloom. Beet pulp is famous for creating this. It hydrates the animal from the inside out. Because beet pulp has an incredible affinity for water, it holds moisture in the digestive tract. A hydrated animal transports nutrients better. Their skin becomes more elastic. Their hair sheds out the dead, dull winter coat and grows in shiny and slick. In 45 days, you are not just seeing weight gain, you are seeing a complete aesthetic transformation. The rib cage expands, giving the animal a deeper, fuller look. This is crucial if you are selling cattle, because perception is value. A deep-bodied, shiny animal sells for significantly more than a flat-sided, dull one, even if they weigh the same. Now, why do I call it a super fiber? Because it is unique. It has the safety of grass, but the energy levels closely approaching grain. When you feed hay, it is safe, but it takes a long time to digest and provides low energy. 
When you feed corn, it provides high energy but digests rapidly and creates acid. Beet pulp sits perfectly in the middle. It is highly digestible, meaning the cow can break it down quickly to get nutrients, but it does not produce the lactic acid that causes acidosis. This is the game changer. It allows you to pump energy into the animal without making them sick. However, there is a massive misconception that leads many ranchers to fail. They think beet pulp is just a filler. They think it is just empty volume. That is a lie. Beet pulp is an energy concentrate. When you introduce this into the diet of a skinny animal, you are essentially expanding the capacity of their rumen. You are stretching the stomach lining gently, stimulating the appetite, and providing the calories needed for muscle and fat deposition. But here is the catch. If you feed it dry without understanding the consequences, you might be putting your animals at risk of choking or impaction. And I will explain exactly how to prepare it correctly in just a moment, because if you get this wrong, you could lose the animal you were trying to save. Before we dive into the specific 45-day protocol, I need you to understand the bloom effect. Have you ever seen show cattle? You know, those animals that look round, deep, and have a shiny coat that looks like it was polished? That is the bloom. Beet pulp is famous for creating this. It hydrates the animal from the inside out. Because beet pulp has an incredible affinity for water, it holds moisture in the digestive tract. A hydrated animal transports nutrients better. Their skin becomes more elastic. Their hair sheds out the dead, dull winter coat and grows in shiny and slick. In 45 days, you are not just seeing weight gain. You are seeing a complete aesthetic transformation. The rib cage expands, giving the animal a deeper, fuller look. This is crucial if you are selling cattle because perception is value. A deep-bodied, shiny animal sells for significantly more than a flat-sided, dull one, even if they weigh the same. Days 8 through 20 are the ramp-up phase. Once the cattle are eating that one pound with no issues, you start increasing. You can step it up by half a pound every two days. By day 20, you aim to be feeding around 1 to 1.5% 1 of their body weight in beet pulp, depending on what else is in the ration. But be careful. Beet pulp is high in calcium but relatively low in phosphorus. If you feed a diet that is almost entirely beet pulp, you upset the mineral balance. You need to ensure you are providing a good mineral supplement that balances this inverse ratio. Now, here is a secret that the top show cattle fitters use. They do not just use beet pulp alone. They use it as a carrier. Because soaked beet pulp is wet and sticky, it is the perfect vehicle to mix in other supplements. If you need to add a powder for joint health or a specific yeast culture to boost digestion, mix it into the wet pulp. The cow cannot sort it out. They lick the trough clean. This ensures that every ounce of nutrition you buy actually goes into the animal and not onto the ground. By day 30, you should see a visible difference. The hollow triangle in front of the hip bone should start to disappear. The ribs should be covered. But this is where you need to apply the brakes on your excitement. Do not just keep increasing the feed infinitely. There is a limit. You generally do not want beet pulp to exceed 50% of the total ration dry matter. Why? Because while it is a super fiber, it lacks the long stem scratch factor that hay provides. The rumen needs scratch. It needs long pieces of grass or hay to stimulate the muscular contractions of the stomach. If you turn the diet into nothing but mush, the rumen stops churning effectively. You must keep free choice hay available at all times. The beet pulp builds the weight, but the hay keeps the engine running. Days 8 through 20 are the ramp up phase. Once the cattle are eating that one pound with no issues, you start increasing. You can step it up by half a pound every two days. By day 20, you aim to be feeding around 1 to 1.5% 1 of their body weight in beet pulp, depending on what else is in the ration. But be careful. Beet pulp is high in calcium but relatively low in phosphorus. If you feed a diet that is almost entirely beet pulp, you upset the mineral balance. You need to ensure you are providing a good mineral supplement that balances this inverse ratio. Now, here is a secret that the top show cattle fitters use. They do not just use beet pulp alone, they use it as a carrier. 
Because soaked beet pulp is wet and sticky, it is the perfect vehicle to mix in other supplements. If you need to add a powder for joint health or a specific yeast culture to boost digestion, mix it into the wet pulp. The cow cannot sort it out. They lick the trough clean. This ensures that every ounce of nutrition you buy actually goes into the animal and not onto the ground. By day 30, you should see a visible difference. The hollow triangle in front of the hip bone should start to disappear. The ribs should be covered. But this is where you need to apply the brakes on your excitement. Do not just keep increasing the feed infinitely. There is a limit. You generally do not want beet pulp to exceed 50% of the total ration dry matter. Why? Because while it is a super fiber, it lacks the long stem scratch factor that hay provides. The rumen needs scratch. It needs long pieces of grass or hay to stimulate the muscular contractions of the stomach. If you turn the diet into nothing but mush, the rumen stops churning effectively. You must keep free choice hay available at all times. The beet pulp builds the weight, but the hay keeps the engine running. Let us move to days 30 through 45. This is the finishing stretch. By now, the cattle are aggressive eaters. They wait for you at the bunk. Their coats are starting to gleam. At this stage, you are maintaining the high volume of pulp. You are watching the manure. This is the best indicator of gut health. You want the manure to be consistent. If it gets too loose, you might need to back off the pulp slightly and increase the long stem hay. If it is too dry and stacking up, you might need more water or more pulp. You become a student of the manure. One specific trick for those of you in hot climates. Beet pulp is a cool feed. Digging down into the science, the fermentation of corn creates a lot of heat in the rumen. In the middle of summer, feeding high grain can cause heat stress. The animal feels hot from the inside, so they stop eating to cool down. Beet pulp ferments differently. It does not create that intense heat spike. This means even when it is 90 degrees outside, your cattle will keep eating their ration. Maintaining intake during heat stress is one of the hardest things to do, and beet pulp is the answer. Conversely, in winter, while it does not create the immediate heat of corn, the energy density helps them maintain body condition against the cold. However, if you are soaking it in freezing temperatures, you have a logistical challenge. You cannot let wet pulp freeze in the trough. It becomes a rock. In winter, you might switch to dry pellets or ensure they clean it up immediately. What about storage? This is practical advice. Dry beet pulp absorbs moisture from the air. If you store it in a damp barn, it will mold. Moldy beet pulp is toxic. It can cause abortions in pregnant cows and respiratory issues. You must keep it bone dry until you are ready to feed it. If you buy the shredded kind in bags, keep them off the concrete floor on pallets. If you buy bulk pellets, ensure your bin is sealed tight. A little leak in the roof can ruin tons of feed. As we approach the end of the 45 days, you will notice the cattle look heavier than the scale might even say. This is because of the fill. But be aware, if you take them off the beet pulp, they will lose that full look within 48 hours as the water weight leaves the digestive tract. This is important for selling. If you are selling at an auction, keep them on the pulp until the very morning of the sale. If you pull the feed two days before, they will shrink and you will look like a liar who presented a different animal. Ultimately, the transformation you see in 45 days is not magic. It is the result of providing a highly digestible energy source that respects the biology of the ruminant animal. You are working with nature, not against it. You are healing the gut while feeding the body. You are creating an animal that is happy, healthy, and heavy. And in this business, heavy pays the bills. Do not let your cattle suffer through another season looking thin and frail. Do not let your neighbors whisper about the condition of your herd. Take control of your nutrition program. Go to your feed store, check the prices, calculate the ration, and start the 45-day challenge. Document it. Take a picture on day one and day 45. The results will shock you. The beet pulp advantage is real, and now you have the blueprint to use it safely and effectively. We have covered the science, the feeding schedule, the risks of minerals, and the management of the bloom. You are no longer guessing. You are operating with precision. That is what modern livestock management is all about. 
it is about precision, efficiency, and animal welfare. Here we are at the end of this masterclass on cattle nutrition, but the learning does not stop here. In fact, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are dozens of other feed ingredients, management techniques, and breeding secrets that can double your profitability. We are here to grow together as responsible ranchers. If you found value in this, if you learned something that you are going to apply on your farm tomorrow, then join us. Subscribe to the channel Biggest Bulls and Cow right now. Leave a comment below telling us where you are farming from and what breed of cattle you raise. Share this video with a fellow rancher who might be struggling with thin cows. Let's build a network of knowledge that lifts the entire industry. Until next time, keep your herds healthy and your fences tight. Subscribe and let's keep learning.